Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy XIV. We last left off after uh, helping Sylphie defend a group of wood whalers from some uh, antelope that went berserk and then we headed down here ready for Sastasha although the uh, the, no the whole of the novice is recommending that I go through their trials before attempting Sastasha itself which I believe Sastasha is uh, the well, I don't believe, I know it's the first dungeon, but I believe that's the uh, next main story quest line in sequence, if I remember correctly. There might be a few that comes before it, if memory serves, but uh, we'll find out along the way. So today we're mostly just going to be covering the whole of the novice. I uh, think that'll take up the majority of the episode. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. According to my records, you have yet to fully complete your training. You're under no obligation to finish the final exercise, of course, but there's much to gain and not to be lost in the attempt. Right, uh, avoid area of effect attacks. Uh, display completed exercises, which of course is nothing. So we'll begin that now. And this puts you into a bit of a uh, instanced area. Alright, level sync. Oh. Do I have your full attention? Then let us proceed. This training exercise focuses on evasion. An enemy often tips his hand before a big attack, so you must learn when to adjust your position. Success hinges upon your ability to avoid being struck. Any questions? We can begin as soon as you are ready. Okie dokie, I'm ready when you are. Just uh, give me the word. Your preparations are complete then. Yes, begin the training exercise. But yeah, the level sync, pretty straightforward stuff. If you're higher than the content, then it'll uh, down sync you to a more appropriate level. This training exercise is now underway. Watch your opponent carefully. When you see an attack coming, move out of the strike zone. You'll be facing me first. I won't hold back, so be quick on your feet. Very nice. You're doing wonderfully. So yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, I don't think we have to kill him. Or if we do have to kill him, we're probably going to get back up DPS, seeing as this is uh, more about the dodging than anything else. Time I switch to a new technique. Better change your dance steps. Very nice, you're doing wonderfully. Good when attack, well land and... Meh. So many interruptions. <laughs> now it's my turn. I'll teach you not to ignore ranged opponent. Oh god. Right, uh... A little bit chaotic, but uh, it's all to make sure that you're ready for the dungeon before you go there. <laughs> now you must evade both attackers at once. Think you can dodge us both? Uh, probably, yeah, although that's a bit of a nasty attack you've got there, isn't it? Remain calm and watch for the signs. Uh, can't remove myself until he's up. Let go. Oh, and there's another one. Uh, is he going to do? Yep, he is going to do something else. Yes. Stay focused. The exercise nears it uh, nears its end. There we go. Congratulations. The exercise is complete. Come to me for your reward. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a lot of uh, really nice, ge nice uh, gear upgrades for you by doing these quests, so it's well worth doing it if uh, if you're lagging behind a little bit. Good show. Learning to avoid the obvious attacks is a skill all adventurers need. Those who insist on standing still won't long survive the profession. And speaking of survival, perfecting each of my lessons will earn you a piece of equipment to aid you in your chosen role. Should you decide you'd like to have a more versatile wardrobe, simply repeat the same lesson with the other masters to receive armor suited to their specialties. That's all for now. I hope this lesson will serve you well in your adventures. Well, there's a new pair of uh, gloves, as I say. The defense is better straight away. And the stats are vital. Yeah, so intelligence is better, mind is better, direct hit is better, and it's got determination. So, yeah, quite a big upgrade. So, uh, we'll equip that straight away. And update. And on to the second challenge. 
Uh, healing am I? Pretty straightforward. <laughs> Do I have your full attention? Then let us proceed. When it comes to your place in a party, you are the soothing wind of restoration. As such, rather than engaging the enemy directly, your primary role is to focus upon the mending of wounds. With the support of your diligent healing, your party will prevail against even the most savage of foes. Now that you understand what is expected of you, we can continue with the lesson. Okay, can you let me in already? The upcoming exercise requires that you keep your ally fully healed. Provide support, defeat the enemy and victory will be yours. Any questions? We can begin as soon as you are ready. Uh, okay, right, we're good. The preparations are complete then. Yes, they are. This training exercise is now underway. Your primary concern should be healing your ally. Let's get those heals straight in there. Stick an arrow on. And get back to another heal. Maybe throw a few uh, ducks in between. When you've healed all layers to heal, there may be time to even some offensive magics. But keep an eye on your companion. You should not be blasting if someone is dying. Your ally is faltering. You must cast Cure, and swiftly. Don't worry, I've got it. I've got it. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Congratulations, the exercise is complete. Come see me for your reward. Well done. A focused healer is a boon to any party. Even when it's safe to attack, always keep one eye on your ally's health. That's all for now. I hope this lesson will serve you well in your adventures. Uh, again, this should be a huge upgrade. Vitality, intelligent, yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, update the gear once more. And in we go again. I believe there's uh, seven or eight of these in total. Right, heal multiple allies. Do I have your full attention? Then let us proceed. In this next exercise, you will be healing multiple allies. Battle is chaotic and you must needs learn flexibility. Thus you will find yourself in a scenario in which sudden reinforcements threaten your party. You will need to stay alert and switch your attention between allies as the situation demands. Provide support, defeat the enemy and victory will be yours. Any questions? We can begin as soon as you are ready. Okie dokie. Uh, yep, my preparations are complete. Right, so these two guys in red, the archer and the tank. Focus your attention on the well-being of your companions. Let's zoom out a bit so we've got a better view of what's going on. There's a new enemy on the field. You'll need to keep an eye on the health of both allies. Let's get the tank healed up a smidge and onto the archer. Let's see if we can't take some pressure off the archer because he'll be taking a lot more damage than our tank will be, I would imagine. And get a heal in before he uh, dies. <laughs> Your ally is faltering. You must cast Cure and swiftly. I've got it. Don't panic, dude. 
As long as we don't run out of mana, we'll be fine. Another enemy threatens your party. You might try attacking something. Alright, nearly done with this by the looks of things. Congratulations, the exercise is complete. Come see me for your reward. Alright. Spreading one's heals amongst many can be a trying task. To succeed in your role, however, you must learn to quickly assess who is most in need of mending. That's all for now. I hope this lesson will serve you well in your adventures. Right, uh, number four, avoid engaged targets. Do I have your full attention? Then let us proceed. For this exercise, you will learn to heal whilst, whilst avoiding harm. As before, you must watch for signs that you are being attacked. Move swiftly and time your casts to avoid interruption. Success will be a matter of combining lessons already learned. Provide support, defeat the enemy, and victory will be yours. Any questions? We can begin as soon as you are ready. Okay, let me in, buddy. Come on, let me in. Move! I want to be in! <laughs> yes, my preparations are complete. <laughs> This train exercise is now underway. Avoid enemy attacks and heal your allies. If you are hit five times, we shall start again from the beginning. That's not even going to happen once. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Good. Well done, slippery as a needle, the novice. Not bad, I can't dodge this. Stand clear of your companions and attack the targets you need not threaten them as well. Yeah, always faltering. We've got him. Victory is within reach. Be on your guard until the very last. Oh. Forgot to keep an eye on you there, didn't I? Never mind. Yeah, should be fine. Oh, and Ellie took a hit at the very end there. <laughs> Congratulations, the exercise is complete. Come see me for your reward. Right. Nice footwork. Be wary of those foes cunning enough to target the source of healing. That's all for now. I hope this lesson will serve you well in your adventures. And equip the new stuff. Oh, I'm not quite fancy in that rubber. Quite like that. I think that's the one that we just got, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, the brand new set. <laughs> now I just need a decent hat to go with it. <laughs> oh, final exercise number five. I thought there was more than that. Never mind. <laughs> A uh, bit of a different location here. And now we come to the final exercise. As the culmination of your training, all the skills you've acquired will be put to the test. Put your lessons into practice and you'll do just fine. We can begin as soon as you are ready. Yeah, I've been ready all this time. Can we just get on with it, please? <laughs> Yeah, my preparations are complete. I wish you would stop asking me that. <laughs> this trend exercise is now underway. As always, healing is your primary concern. Attack only when it is safe to do so. Watch out for the jackal. Be sure your ally does not fall to its jaws. Let's heal up my archer before he goes down. Another jackal. Keep an eye on your lightly armoured companion. 
Uh, we've got him. We've got him. Right, is this the last target? Or is there more to come? Now the battle becomes interesting. You'll need to watch your positioning here. that much uh, health from my heels. Okay. Man, those attacks are going off fast. <laughs> Alright, I think we're getting the upper hand a bit now. Your last opponent looms. This one packs a wallop, so stay on your toes. Moving out of that uh, area of effect damage. It really make my life more awkward than it needs to be, but never mind. <laughs> Clearly, this uh, tank hasn't passed the uh, Hall of Novice uh, training uh, tests. <laughs> oh, nearly, yeah, I'm healed again. Uh, Oh, let's get out of that before I'm the one that needs healing. <laughs> the end is in sight. Be sure your allies survive the battle. Come on, get this heal off quickly. Yeah, he's in trouble. No dying today, thank you very much. And duty complete. Way. Congratulations, the exercise is complete. Come see me for your reward. I knew you were ready for the challenge. Yeah, I bestow this gift upon all who complete my training course. Uh, ooh, alright. Oh, increases experience by 30% when level 30 and below. Really nice. But I was hoping for a bloody hat. <laughs> alright, uh... Equip that, and update the set, and you still seem to have something for me. Ah, oh, splendid. I see you have mastered the lessons of the hall. Henceforth, you are a novice no longer. Believe me, my friend, there is no greater thrill than striving alongside like-minded companions to overcome the deadliest of challenges. May the wisdom you gained in the hall of, novi in the, hall of the novice serve you well on your adventures. Hmm, alright, I'll pass on that. And speak to this guy, what do you want from me? Ah, you must be the adventurer of whom the Yellow Jacket sent word. I hear you are to brave the depths of the Sastasha Sea Grot. The occupants of those caves are rumoured to be as numerous as they are bloodthirsty. No matter what the epic tales would have you believe, strolling into such a den of savagery alone would be the height of foolishness. No, you shall need companions. And you shall need the training way yet the whole of the novice can provide. I've already done it. <laughs> I strongly suggest that you study the fundamentals of group combat before continuing on your mission. The smith here oversees the training schedules. Speak with him and you can register for the exercises tailored to your particular field of expertise. Mm, there's no point looking at him, buddy, I've already done it. <laughs> when you have mastered all that our masters have to teach, then it will be time to head north once more. Report to the Yellow Jacket Scout at the mouth of the Sastasha Sea Grot and he will furnish you with the details of your duty. Right, uh, so the mouth of the Sastasha Sea Grot. I believe that's on our right. The compass seems to be agreeing with me, so we'll head up there. Alright. Now we've got eight minutes left uh, on my timer. But uh if I'm correct as I, but if I'm correct, as I say, that's uh going to take us into the dungeon for our next uh, quest. And it's probably going to take us a lot longer than uh, eight minutes to complete the dungeon. So we'll have us have a word with this guy and then we'll uh, call it an episode, I think. Please tell me you're here on Yellow Jacket duty and not some daft sod out for a stroll. I can't take any more of this blasted waiting. You are? Thank the gods. We've been on the lookout for pirate activity ever since that vessel was sighted. We've been on the lookout for pirate activity ever since that vessel was sighted. Think the crew of cutthroats might have a den nearby. So when we received word that men of questionable quality had been seen passing in and out of Sastasha here, we weren't entirely surprised. 
I've yet to see them for myself, but if this lot belongs to those fishback fancy and serpent, reef serpent reefers, well, you can imagine the panic I'll cause. The kidnappings are still fresh in people's minds. Anyway, your task is to poke around in the caves and find out exactly who we're dealing with. While you do that, I'll be keeping watch out here, praying you don't spot any blue face tattoos. Uh, he's duty find and Sustasha. Duty finder unlocked. Sustasha now accessible. Uh, instance trades. Uh, party based content take place in closed environments. Uh, refers to the fact that these areas are reserved for a single group of players. Uh, must rely on their wits and strength to conquer the many challenges that await them. Deadly traps, complex mazes, and powerful bosses. That the challenge instance raids have numerous requirements, such as time limits, level restrictions, and limitations of changing classes or jobs while within. So you can't change class halfway through a dungeon if somebody drops out. Which is uh, unlike World of Warcraft, where, of course, if you were dual class, where you were, say, a druid and you could be a tank, healer, or DPS, can't do that in uh, Final Fantasy. You're stuck with whatever rule you queued as when you first joined the uh, the dungeon queue. Uh, can be joined by forming a party and speaking with the NPC at the entrance or by using the duty finder. Uh, all right. Uh... You can now want to take multiplayer duties, press U or select duty finder from the main menu to bring the duty finder interface. So we'll do that now. Just hit U. There's the uh, dungeons for the first three expansions and any amount of other categories for different uh, content that we'll unlock as we go. So just select Sastasha. Uh, oh, hang on, using the duty finder. First highlight duty from the list, which we did. Press the join button at the bottom and uh, That'll begin the matching process. Mm. Padlock indicates that it cannot be accessed until you've achieved certain requirements such as level or quest completion. Uh, once you've registered, you can view the duties particulars including party and server status by selecting duty finder from the duty list. Uh, when your party is successfully formed, a confirmation prompt will appear. And uh, it's good practice to work out a battle plan with your party before rushing headlong into an instance. That happens all too often, unfortunately, rushing headlong. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's uh, that. We'll just click join. And then you see it brings up your little uh, timer here, which I get the queue straight away because uh, healers do tend to uh, work out that way. But we're going to keep this dungeon for the next episode. So we'll see you guys next time.